Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Ferrari GT games for Java. The Ferrari GT games are awesome racing games, and they are unique. You know how I see in most racing game videos for Java that there are templates for each racing game, and that usually it's the same game, but with a different paint job. Well, in the Ferrari GT series, it's not the case. The cars behave and move different to other games. It is small detail though, in the big image the game is still a racing game like you would usually get on Java. Ok, the difference is actually in the animations and not actually how the game runs. Because if you would judge after how the game runs, then it's your standard racing game for Java. In the first one, you get 8 different Ferrari models and 4 racetracks. And between some Ferrari models you can spot a difference while driving. It's not really a wonder game, but hey, it's enjoyable. Ferrari GT2 Revolution has a different look, and I dare to say that it looks better than its predecessor. Though I think it's just a matter of preferences. I mean, in this game I like the polygons on the side of the road way more and I consider them better done than in the first game. And this game is a beast content wise. You get 20 Ferraris and 10 locations. And you get weather conditions. Now the tracks aren't just tracks with a picture in the background. Now you get effects like rain or thunder or lightning and days and nights, making the 10 tracks more varied. And Ferrari GT3 World Track makes the game even crazier. This Java game has 57 cars. It's impressive. The game also has 10 tracks, the polygons on the side of the road look way better, and they added new effects on the cars. And overall, the game looks really good, especially compared to the other two. This one looks amazing. And the driving, well, it's as awesome as always. And having so many cars to unlock, the game will keep you interested for quite a long time. Oh, and I should tell you about the career modes in the games. Well, in career, you do stuff like avoid obstacles, overcome competitors, or perform drifts. As a conclusion, I want to say that I recommend the games. They have personality. Whether it is that the driving feels like it has something unique to it, even if it's almost the usual or that you get into games a nice 3D track with nice polygons on the side of the road and even alternate paths you can take. So, as I said, as a conclusion, I recommended the games. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!